Hey, this is Ash from All Things Dentistry. Ever want to know the secrets that endodontists use to get down complicated canals? Well, look no further. Check us out at allthingsendo.ca where you'll find those secrets to unlocking your endo potential. Okay, so I want to give kind of a review of this, this microscope. I've been using it for three years and probably you know, two, one to two times a week. So this is my buddy Magic's Clinic. Look at this. It's an incredible place. And this is my dental assistant, Angela. She actually works with the prosthodontist routinely and we do endo together. And this is our setup. So if somebody had asked about a setup, if you stop the video and take a look, this is kind of what we use for basics uh, at this place, this location. I'm just getting set up. So I thought my stuff is a little bit out. And this is really interesting because this Serona chair actually has an apex locator, even though I use my AT apex locator, and it has an endo handpiece built into it. Yeah, it's crazy. So <clears throat> this Leica microscope is the model M525. And it actually, I mean, it's huge. Look at this beast. And the way it's mounted here is that it, it's mounted into the ceiling. So there's like a little thing that brings it up and down. So we'll bring it all the way down. And then you can, you know, you turn it on in the back and you can control the lamps and the light and all this other stuff. But all the other material actually is managed from the, the deck, the Starship deck. But so I like it because it's, there's a few things. So it's great because it has the focus and zoom. So it's got focus and zoom right here compared to my global, which is like old school, like just steps. So it's auto, auto focus, not auto focus, you focus with the button. You can control the light. So if I do this down here, you can see the light turns, you know, I can control the power of the lamp. I can also control how much light there is. You can see, I'm just doing it on the floor. How this, you know, this, how big the light um, pattern is. You know, you can control kind of the regular bino stuff up and down. These have 180, yeah, 180 degrees. And you can also control you know, this. It does, what I do like, it's like my, uh, the global has sort of an extension off. So you don't have to have the patient like right, you know, it's a lot of microscopes you'll see on the market today. They don't have this extension. It's a lot, it's more expensive. So they'll have the binos like right here. And what happens is the problem is your patient is like right under you. So that can be a bit of a problem. So there are the binos. And then we have our beam splitter, which I literally just realized there's an extra one on this side. I guess you can put a camera on here. Well, let me see in there. Um, so my buddy Magic has a camera on it. You can tell this is real because I just dropped that. <laughs> and the camera that we use, so um, I've switched actually on my global to using my cell phone, which I can control the 4K. This has an old school camera. I don't know what to call it old school, but it is 720 output. I'm certain we could actually put a mount my adapter. I didn't realize this, but I could actually adapt a mount. I'm gonna to talk to my buddy Alberto and see if we can get, they have actually cell phone adapters so we could actually use my cell phone instead and get away from using my computer. So what happens is this runs, I run my computer. This has an HDMI output and that runs up to some sort of box in the ceiling. And then what happens is if we look, I'm just set again, I'm just setting up right now for our patient. We run that HDMI input. This is a secret that not a lot of people know about these things. You have to run it into this dongle and this, look how old this is. This is like five years old. This is like all the original footage that I have online is through this thing. And it's amazing because it's been so beat up. I've carried this in my backpack for years. So it comes, HDMI comes into here. This converts it into a, a USB signal. And then I run that into my computer through QuickTime. So that's how I really capture. And the beauty of this microscope is that I can get really amazingly, I don't even know what the magnification is. It's ridiculous. I'll probably cut to some magnification at the end of this video. Um, but it gives you an idea of cutting the machine. Now, problem with it is I find it really huge. This handle. Um, I keep this handle up. It's, you know, it's got both, both sides for both dual control. Uh, but I keep it out of the way because my dental assistant, it kind of hits her in the head. I find it really, it's like a monster to move. Like the, 
the optics are amazing, the light's amazing, everything's amazing, it's just so freaking big. But if you're looking for, I would, you know, if you're starting to do endo or you wanna keep, you know, what I love about it is that it's ceiling mounted, so the thing's out of the way. I don't have this bulky stand because once we lift this up, I mean, we're free to roam wherever you wanna roam. So that would be one, my advice, if you are getting a microscopes and you do, are you gonna keep it in, if you're gonna keep it in one operatory, I would recommend probably mounting it from the ceiling or mounting it off the chair. There are some that mount off the chair. And then in terms of optics, I'll be honest, I don't see it. I use a, a Leica, a Global, and a, a Pico all pretty much routinely. I don't see a huge difference in the optics at all. It's really just more the control and the ergonomics of it. So again, ergonomics being in this case, um, how difficult is it to move this thing around? Like I find that when I go to move this with a patient, this control knob gets very frustrating to try it. You can see me struggling with one hand, try to bring that back up. Obviously you can lose, loosen it. So Zumax, Zeiss have a bunch of magnet. I mean, they're really expensive, but they have some controls that are magnetic. So you, they just unlock and then you move it. Just flowable. I've used one of those before. It's amazing, but those are fairly expensive. Um, but other than that, that is pretty much my quick review on the Leica M525. Let me know in the comments below if you use one, actually, I'd be really interested. And if you actually have that adapter, uh, if it works, I'll touch base with my buddy Alberto. Anyways, thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you soon.